Before we get into today's topic, I just want to preface it by saying this isn't some platform altering massive deal that will destroy Roblox. I'm just here to simply talk about something that everyone's gonna see, so let's not act like I'm starting drama or whatever like some people used to. So if you've been on the Roblox website in the last two days, you may have noticed a small yet very noticeable and curious change. Roblox has changed the name of the games page on their website from Discover to Charts for the majority of users. This marks the first time its name has been changed since May 2021 when it became Discover after experiences became a thing. The mobile app games page was also renamed to Charts apparently a few weeks ago. It appears to currently be rolling out to everybody so if you don't have it yet then you're probably going to get it soon. But yeah, charts is definitely a small yet kinda impactful change that I think may hint towards some potential future updates. Charts has been seen by probably millions of people so far so naturally there's a lot of talk about the name and why it changed. Nothing is really blown up yet but if you look through Twitter you're gonna see a ton of reactions to charts. Most people seem confused about why it needed to happen and why it got renamed to charts of all things. By definition, it doesn't really make sense because these aren't charts unless Roblox now considers the sorts as charts or plans to make them charts. When you think of charts, you tend to think of stuff like these, which is not what the game page is. Some people like it though, because the Discover name didn't really make sense either because Roblox limits how many games you can discover on it. Realistically, the homepage suits the Discover name better as it recommends you a ton of games based on what you play. And I think that's one reason why Roblox changed the name, because the homepage is becoming the games page. Roblox has been constantly tweaking the homepage by adding new sorts and switching the order of them all the time. They've been making the homepage more game oriented for a while, which is making the terrible game page obsolete. It has sucked for years and sadly likely will never get back to what it used to be, but the home page is definitely an upgrade over it. Home is where you discover games more often, and the games page is where you see games sorted by data, so that means the name change kinda makes sense. The charts page again doesn't include any charts, so that's kinda weird, but they are sorts based on stuff like visits and earnings. It's strange, but it doesn't make much of a difference, so I don't really have anything good or bad to say about the change itself. What I do have a problem with is the fact Roblox would have spent time and money creating this mostly unnecessary update. Making changes like this aren't as simple as some dude waking up and deciding to change the name. There's a lot more to it. As simple as it is, there would have been lots of meetings, concepts, tests, and then the integration that Roblox spent time on and paid people to do. All those resources spent on something needless could have been spent on useful things like working towards improving game discovery because it still sucks. Obviously that isn't as simple and may not even be done by the same employees, but there's surely better things to do than rename the game page. But at the end of the day, this is just a change that everyone will see, yet won't make a difference to anything at all. It's just another random and fairly pointless update that has people more confused than anything. What do you think of the chart's name? Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe down below.